show you guys on Adobe Illustrator how to take an image and set it up for uh, cutting on a laser engraver. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into our file section and find an image. So we'll go up here to file, we're going to come down to place dot dot dot. And we want to find an image that most of the times you can use that would look like a good cutout. So good ones to look for are those. So we'll go with this Chewbacca one here. This is one somebody used for a jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to click place. Now with the versions that you guys are using, you'll be able to see the little mouse thumbnail, or the picture thumbnail on your mouse. And you'll simply just click, drag, click and drag. Mine, I'm using an older version, so mine just automatically showed up on the picture here. But I have CS, CS6, where you guys have the newer version, which has that fancier update. Alright, so now I'm going to take my picture here. I'm going to make sure I'm selected on my selection tool. And I'm going to make the picture a little bit bigger by taking my mouse to this adjustment handle. And I'll click and drag. As I click and drag, I'm holding in my shift key to hold the proportion of the picture so it doesn't get all warped and messed up. So now we look at the picture here. It looks a little pixely. So we need to change the picture a little bit here. So we need to click on this button up here called Image Trace. If we click on this little drop down box, we have a bunch of different options we can go with. I'm going to choose the Silhouettes version. Now notice how the image, you see it all cleaned up really nice, and it's a lot thicker, and that's what we're going to go with for now. So now what we need to do is we need to separate these, this image a little bit, that way we can turn the picture into an outline format. So we're going to go up to the top toolbar here, and we're going to click on Expand. So now what we can do now, we can now alter the picture a little bit color wise and we can mess with its outlines. So these little drop down boxes over here, this drop down box is like the fill so I could change the color of the fill if I wanted to but I don't want to do that so I'm going to just click on this little box with a line through it that says none so that leaves that empty. The drop down box next to it, it gives you the outline. I'm actually going to click on the black color and now we have an outline of Chewbacca. So at this point now I want to try to alter the picture just a little bit so that it is lined up and then whenever we go to cut it later on there's going to be some depth. Like so right, see right in here this is really close together so when we go to cut that you know, we want to spread those out a little bit so that it doesn't break. So, first of all, we want to do is we want to select and click on the image. Go up on top here and click on Object. Then I'm going to come down and click Ungroup. What that's going to do is it's going to ungroup the entire object and everything in there is going to be its own separate image. So now after that, I can click and drag away. And it takes away a good bit. Excuse me. Not doing what I wanted it to do. Alright. So I'm gonna get rid of this section here so it gets rid of that blocks. And now we've got somewhat decent picture. So all this imagery imagery here, this this line here, this line here, all of this will actually be cut out from the laser engraver. Well, what I actually want to do is I'm going to select each little shape and just use my arrow buttons and simply just nudge them around a little bit. That way they're a little bit spread out a little bit more. Gives a little bit more space. This will help us out later on for the laser engraver. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my mouse 
and I'm going to click and drag and try to select everything, all the images. And I'm going to go back up to Object, and I'm going to click on Group to combine it all again. So, just for fun, when we get to this, I'm going to draw a little box, a rounded rectangle box, around the image. That way it'll be its own little project later on. Now granted, yes, I had that one in there earlier, but it had a bunch of other things to it, attached to it. Alright, so now I will go in. Alright, so now I'm going to go up where the stroke section is, so we're going to change the point of the stroke. The way the machine will know how to cut, you have to make the stroke really, really thin. So I'm going to put in the function of 0 0.0028. So that's the laser engraver know that you're trying to do a vector job. And there you have it. So here's our final image of Chewbacca. And we'll see you later when we try to cut this out.